Dan Trudeau here. I'm the VP and Executive Recruiter at PRA USA, and today I want to talk to you about hiring remote workers. Now, the subject of remote work is nothing new. It's been discussed quite a bit over the last several decades. The difference now is that the COVID crisis has made this a reality for companies that weren't even considering the option before. So the question now isn't, will this change the American workforce, but how much? In fact, according to recent research, 50 to 60% of all employed Americans have jobs that are at least partially compatible with remote work. So companies right now are figuring out what work can and can't be done from a home office. They're also figuring out how to manage that work. And this is a potential game changer because it allows you to do things like, say, hire for a certain skill set no matter where the candidate's located geographically. And while these companies are getting pretty experienced at managing work from home offices, they don't have a lot of experience yet recruiting and hiring people for those jobs. And this is a big deal because being able to manage remote work doesn't mean a whole lot if you can't pull the talent in in the first place. So we have a fix for this. You know, we have many years of experience both recruiting off-site workers for our clients and also 20 years of managing and hiring them for our internal team. In fact, my partner Jim Pettiprin's got a great video on our channel you should check out about managing remote workers. But that's not what I'm talking about in this video. In this video today, I'm talking about the three most essential keys for recruiting and hiring remote workers. The first key is the right marketing materials. Now, this one's really important because when you are recruiting for a remote employee, you are in competition with companies all over the country, even all over the world. It is critical that you present yourself in a way that gets someone who has never and may never set foot in your facilities excited about joining your team. So ask yourself this question. Does your website do a great job of selling you as a potential employer? And not only that, have you researched what remote people are looking for and make sure that the website reflects that? You know, an off-site worker does not have the same priorities as an on-site one. You know, your awesome location and great facilities don't mean so much to them. Now, the downside is there's not a lot of great research on this topic yet. So make sure that you're talking to your current people and the people you're interviewing to get some idea of this. Once you have that information, you can use it to create the sizzle to make sure that your company stands out. The second key is the right setup, because wanting to work from home does not automatically mean you're set up to do it. Without certain resources in place, it's just not possible. You need to find out, do they have a dedicated workspace that's isolated from the rest of the house? Do they have a strong enough internet connection to handle the workload? And finally, do they have the support they need from home? Now that last question is often overlooked and it's potentially the most important one because you can have the greatest workspace in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if it's constantly being invaded with outside distractions. If someone has a family, have they set up rules of the house that allow them to work uninterrupted? And do they have other personal obligations that they set up workarounds for, like, say, elderly parents? This is a thin line to walk, as we're starting to get into personal details. That said, working from home blurs that personal professional line, so they have got to be ready to manage it. Just make sure that when you're asking these questions, you're framing it with professional terms. You can ask questions such as, what are the household guidelines you've established to make sure that you work uninterrupted? Um, you know, how have you set up your workspace to make sure that you're not being distracted? And finally, what rules have you established for yourself to ensure productivity? Now, these are but a few of the questions you can ask to make sure that you're hiring smart. A needs analysis with the right team will make sure that you're coming up with the questions to ferret out the bad hires. Because remember this, a bad remote hire is potentially more costly than a bad internal one, so be careful. The third key is the right attitude. By its very nature, remote work demands more self-discipline and self-management than working in an office. You can't do it if you don't have the right attitude. So how do you figure that out before they start? Well, for people already working that way, Ask them for specifics about what they do to keep themselves focused and on task. 
uh, find out what their biggest challenges have been and what they did to adapt. They should have verifiable successes that show that they've got the right attitude. It's trickier when you're interviewing someone who wants to work remote for the first time. In this instance, you need the examples from their previous work that show, one, a proven ability to work independently. Ask them about projects that they had to handle completely on their own. You know, how do they organize the work and how do they stay on task every day? Two, adaptability for when things get upended. Ask them about a crisis maybe that turned the status quo on its head. The COVID-19 thing might be a good example. How did they change the methods of how they worked and their mindset? And what did they learn that they can carry forward into future work? And third, strong self-discipline. Ask them about their methods of work and how they keep themselves free of distractions in their current work and previous work. And then talk to them about how they can carry those lessons forward into working from home. Now, these qualities are all very necessary when it comes to being an at-home worker. Now, you'll never know for sure until they start, as with any new hire, but they're great indicators for what to expect. These three keys will help you take advantage of the benefits that come with hiring remote workers. Now, there's no 100% foolproof way to do it, but that's true of on-site people too. Reach out to us if you need more ideas. Now, another thing you can do for you and your team's success is subscribe to the PRA USA YouTube channel. In the coming weeks, months, years, we're going to be sharing advice, um, answering tough questions, and responding to the big events of the day. We want to use our 30 years of experience to help you grow and manage a successful team, along with helping your own career.